Hello, welcome back to another video. I feel like these videos, they're rolling round speedy at the moment. I feel like I'm spending all my time filming, <laughs> recording, <laughs> editing Alphaly videos, but I don't mind because I actually really love doing them. I'm an absolute nerd when it comes to active wear, in particular Alphaly at this point. But today's video is going to be probably a little bit shorter than normal because it's just about restock information. Alphaly are restocking some of their like most popular amplify colours um, even colours like titanium which I don't think have dropped since like 2020 I feel like that's they were part of like the original original drop anyway I will put on the Instagram on the Instagram on the screen everything that's restocking in this restock it is just a restock what you see is what you get it's on Saturday the 11th of June which is this Saturday at 6 p.m UK time if you want to shop with my code, it can be a little birthday present to me because my birthday is the 9th. Um, fun fact, I actually literally got my parcel about two hours ago. Today is the only day I've got this week to film this video, edit, edit this video and get it up. So hopefully it works. But yes, if you want to shop with my support code on Saturday, it is just Amy and it could be a nice little birthday present for me. No dramas if you would rather shop with someone else's, it's okay. Which brings me on to a really important update, which I have spoken about on Instagram and on here. Um, but not in an Alpha Elite haul video yet because there's not been one. So as of the 1st of June, it's now the 6th, so they're fully in swing now. Your Alpha Elite Athlete Affiliate support codes are now discount codes. So with the code Amy, it's still Amy, it's not like Amy 10. You know, I've always dreamed of being able to be like Amy 10 for 10% off. Um, even though I think my friends would probably like literally rip the piss out of me for it. I just think... Amy 10 for 10% off but it's just like your favourite athlete affiliate whatever their code was before it stayed the same and now it gets you 10% off which is super exciting and I'm really really glad Alpha Elite have made this change because it's always personally blown my mind you know that people even take the I know it's only three letters but like people take the time and effort to shop with my support code with Alpha Elite to you know let them know that you've come through me to support me and um, because you've never really gotten anything out of it which is why I've always done things like giveaways with my Black Friday giveaways I always try and give away like a, a larger amount of money to say thank you so I'm really really glad now that it's not just a support code it is a discount code couple things to go over no Alpha Elite are not going to be sneaky and hike the prices up by 10% to make up on the the profit situation the prices are not going up they will stay the same that's not to say the prices will never increase again inflation is real the prices of things very well may go up but they're not going up right now just because the of the support codes changing to discount codes so yes um i'm really really happy that they've made that change it's 10 percent off the only other thing is i don't believe and i'm probably going to text dylan when i've finished with this video and update a, pin, a pinned comment about it i don't believe right now that the support codes are stackable with things like nhs discount student discount um i think there's like a veteran discount as well you no know, i know it's nice to support people but i do want you guys to get things for like you know a, a a nice discount if you can so you know if you do work for the nhs or you're a student or you're an army veteran or anything like that and you can get a bigger discount from me to you i would rather you use that than use my support code there'll be other times where you can use my support code and hopefully they'll change it so that they can be stackable i will update a pinned comment about that because i am going to ask dylan about it but yeah um please don't don't feel bad i would rather you get the bigger discount if that makes sense. It, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this. It's a pretty stupid thing to say because if people don't use my support code, I won't be able to carry on doing these videos, but I would genuinely rather you guys get the bigger discount. Second thing that I wanted to touch on is, not Alpha Elite related, so if you're not interested, please feel free to skip past, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to anyone who's watched my videos last month, anyone who has supported my content with Alpha Elite, which means that I get to continue my sponsorship with them, anyone who has shopped through my support code, and all that sort of stuff, because as I've spoken about every single month, as of last month, I've decided I want to consistently donate to like local charities and causes and all that sort of stuff and last month we were able to pay for a whole bed bundle for a child through a charity whose aim is to ensure that every single child in the Leeds area has a bed to sleep in I know that might be a strange concept for some people but trust me there's a lot of child poverty in England there's definitely a lot of child poverty in the Bradford Leeds area so we have been able to buy a whole bed like bed frame mattress everything um for a child living in Leeds who didn't have a bed before so thank you um 
and yeah we're doing this sort of stuff together this month i think donations are going to go to bradford food bank um obviously there's a lot of people struggling with like the cost of living going up especially in bradford at the moment a lot of people using food banks so the donations this month will be going to there i just wanted to say thank you because i do really appreciate it um and yeah you guys are in the best third thing is back to alphalete related so this is just something that i just want to touch on because i was quite like upset's the wrong word but yeah i was a little bit upset and i felt really really disappointed for you guys so the last launch that there was i spoke about how scarlet was like the og material to me because it genuinely is like the scarlet color is honestly the most similar to the og material that alphalete have brought out since they stopped doing the og material after their birthday launch in 2021 um like um, you know me guys I, I, I don't feel the need to bullshit if it wasn't the og material none of this is the og material I'll, I'll just say it um none of the other colors were and then people placed their orders and people were messaging me saying that their scarlet i mean some people's was really thick and durable like i said it was but some people were saying like it was fluffy it was thin it was see-through um, it felt really like just not how I had described it but yet you know other people had bought colours like chocolate which for me were literally like tights um, and they'd been super super thick so I just wanted to say I'm genuinely really sorry if you had an issue with your order from the last launch because it made me feel really bad like I pride myself on being like 100% honest and transparent in these reviews and it just felt like there wasn't even normally there's differences between colours in a launch even on the same product but with this last launch it kind of felt like there was differences even with the same colour between like batches or something like that I don't know what went on I don't know what happened I do know that they are using a new manufacturer now so there might be maybe it was just teething problems but I did feel really bad because I want you guys to be able to rely on my reviews and if you know every single piece is going to be different even if it's the same colour it kind of renders my reviews a bit pointless and I love doing them and I just I felt really really bad I don't know what the situation is going to be with this launch but I just wanted to let people know because one I felt really bad and I don't want you guys to think you can't trust me like trust me I was being 100% honest it doesn't work in my favour for me to show you that the chocolate colour was literally sheer as hell like even stood up like tights on me I'm just really really sorry if anyone was disappointed or upset with the like chocolate scarlet um launch colors and hopefully this launch is going to be a bit more consistent and hopefully the information that i'm giving you is therefore going to be more helpful so without further ado i am gonna get into it you already know the drill with me like you you're not gonna get any bullshit here you're gonna get complete honesty consumer perspective always i feel very 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 lucky to be able to work with alphalete and get all this free stuff but i'm never gonna let the amount of free stuff that i get blind me from how expensive this stuff is and sway my opinions and all that sort of stuff you're always gonna get honesty with me and alphalete appreciate honesty from me i know they appreciate honesty from me i've had conversations with I've literally messaged Christian before and been like, I really hope my opinions don't come across as too harsh. And he's literally said, no, like I'm a perfectionist. I appreciate the honesty. So we're all good. We're all good. Just before I get into this video, you will notice I've only got shorts. The reason being is I didn't want to be like super wasteful and get the leggings in every single colour. I've got the leggings in every single colour already. Like it just felt very wasteful of me to have like doubles of things lying around um so i didn't get any of the leggings i just got shorts because i don't actually have these colors in shorts but if you do want to see the leggings i'm just looking at them now on the screen i'm gonna obviously put up everything that's restocked and all that sort of stuff but every single pair of leggings i have got and i have tried on so i'll go back through my hauls i'll link them below with the timestamps for each color so like the pink um the titanium leggings i've got those here but like these are like the original originals um the pia blue evergreen leggings french blue mocha pink i've got all of those already tried on so i will timestamp and link all those down below i just didn't want to be wasteful getting like what is the point of me having two pairs of pink leggings and i also didn't get any pink shorts because i've already got the pink shorts 
Um, I didn't get the chocolate shorts because I got those on the last launch and I didn't get the black shorts because I've got like a million pairs of black amplify shorts. So in the shorts, which is what I'm going to go over, like I said, I'll leave the leggings and stuff linked down below. So I am going to go over the shorts at first, but do be aware that the last couple launches that they've done with this new manufacturer, I have personally found that the leggings have run a lot tighter and been more prone to being a bit sheer and a bit more see-through than the shorts have been um, and these shorts are more consistent with the material of newer launches so that's definitely something to bear in mind so when you're looking at the leggings and you're looking at colours the pink last time wasn't even like stand-up proof on me if you've got dark underwear on you will be able to see things if you want to wear big knickers you're going to be able to see them you need a nude thong with those um, the pea blue leggings, again, they were a little bit sheer in the bottom of a squat. My old mocha leggings can be a little bit sheer. My French blue are pretty solid, to be honest. They haven't been sheer on me. My evergreen can be sheer in the bottom of a squat. And my titanium are completely, completely fine. They're like the original, original um, drop. So they're like the thick OG material. And I'll do some punch through tests and stuff in this video to show you exactly what I mean by that. Obviously I don't have any, um, but there will be plenty of athletes who do have the leggings, but I just thought it was worth bearing in mind and letting you guys know that I have found on recent launches, the leggings to run a bit tighter and be a bit more prone to being a bit sheerer. For reference, I am five foot six, 32 double D, but my boobs are thick, so bear that in mind. Um, the inside of my leg is 28 inches. My measurements are 24 around the waist, about 39 around the glutes, um, and I am typically an extra small in Alpha Lee's items. So, in terms of the Amplify shorts, these are the new 4.5 inch shorts. Um, they're not the shorter 3.5 inch shorts. So even if you've got the French blue shorts, these are a bit different in multiple ways, which I will go over. Things like the scrunch, all that sort of stuff. But mainly because they are a little bit longer now. They are that 4.5 inch short. I'm just going to go over the features dead, dead quick. I've done this a million times. Um, but yeah, you've got the three tier waistband, low compression, medium compression, high compression. So it's like... You have mesh panelling down the side here, which is always a little bit darker than the rest of the legging or the short. The leggings are the exact same details, by the way. It's just a full length legging. Then you have the Alpha Lee in forever stitching on the back. This is the newer, like smaller, more like spread out rather than chunky, tall and together logo. So it's more similar to like the Pia Blue launch. And then you have the scrunch bum. These scrunches, I will insert some scrunch chats, but in short, these are the new thicker scrunch. So they are not like the um, original ones anyway. Let me actually just show you really, really quick. But I will insert like a full on chat about the scrunches. So this is the original evergreen color. You can see that that's like a lot thinner. And then this is the new scrunch i feel like you can even see like how this one just like scrunches you can't even see the scrunch and now it's like quite a bit thicker i'll also put in color comparisons because as you can see these are actually slightly different and yeah so yeah those are the features i have got these in evergreen i've got them in titanium i've got them in mocha and i've got them in french blue the features are the same i will put in clips of them laid over each other i'll put in clips of the scrunches i will put in clips of color comparisons like i said to like the original original drop of these colorways so to compare the old scrunches to the new scrunches this is the old mocha this is the new mocha this is the new french blue that's the old french blue this is the new evergreen that's the old evergreen old titanium new titanium so as you can see it's the bigger wider scrunch that has like so as you can see these are like sewn in to the gusset on the old ones or there's a gap but there's no like panel there Whoop. like there's no panel it's just material whereas on the new ones it's got this like panel so it's the same as like the storm grey pier blue launch where it's got this panel um and this titanium one is definitely out of the bunch got the longest panel and the longest scrunch out of the ones that i have got um but yes scrunch comparison and also another look at color comparison
to chat about the scrunchies dead quick i did go over this in my last video when i noticed that they changed them um in my personal opinion if you have bigger glutes i don't think you'll notice the difference that much but if you have smaller glutes you will notice that the scrunch sits a bit higher you have to do a lot more to get it up your bum and it won't sit up your bum as much as it used to with the thinner scrunch um, and i've seen that quite a lot of people actually don't like this new scrunch Apparently it doesn't scrunch as well as the old one did, especially on people that are a bit smaller in the glute region. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, me personally, I'm not too bothered. I still think it's flattering, but you definitely can tell the difference. And I have noticed in try on clips, especially with these ones, you can really see it at like the top of my bum crack now. Whereas I feel like you didn't used to see that before. It kind of used to pull down at the back and now it doesn't. Yeah, that's just a little scrunch chat. So to do some colour comparisons, this is the old mocha compared to the new one. I think I'll also put in some pictures because it's a bit later in the day now, so the lighting's not quite as good, whereas the pictures I got earlier looked a lot more how they look in real life. Um, so they're not the exact same colour. This one definitely is more like a solid brown, um, and I feel like the panelling matches better on these than it does on this. This has almost got like a bit of green to it and it's definitely more mild moving on to french blue the panel's a lot more blue a lot darker i feel like the new french blue has got more blue in it the old one has got a bit more lilac in it moving on to titanium i just feel like these are two completely different colors to be honest um yeah i just feel like they are two different colors and i way prefer the new titanium like i've said i never ever ever reach for this it's just giving school jumper i don't reach for it so i definitely prefer the new one um more blue toned in my opinion this is definitely more of a true gray this one has a bit more blue in it and then evergreen the new one is greener in my opinion but if you look at the panel here this one's definitely got a bit more like black in it it's more mild it definitely stands out more on the new evergreen than it does on the old Um, sizing comparison like I said the like flat lay of these definitely is true to how these fit so titanium and blue are the exact French blue French blue are the exact same waistband size height all that sort of stuff the waistbands are all the same height on these um, mocha is ever so slightly smaller and then evergreen is by far the tightest and it does feel the tightest it's definitely the tightest fitting colour um, that I have got I am more than happy if people message me on Instagram, I'll do question boxes and stuff, to lay waistbands over previous launches if you only bought from like one launch a few months ago or you've got one random colour. If I've got it, I'm more than happy to lay any of these colours over it for you to check for sizing comparisons. Um, but I'm not going to do that in this video just because I am literally going to be here all day if I do every single colour that I can possibly think of. Um, but yes that's the sizing comparison all that good stuff but the main thing that people normally want to know about with these is um material which i will go over in a second but just very very quickly to let you guys know about squat proofness sheerness sweat proofness um this is the newer material so for me personally the newer material is not 100 percent sweat proof on me i'm a very sweaty girl i sweat a lot in the crotch region and in the bum crack region it's not too bad but they're not 100% sweat proof the og material was 100% sweat proof on me and i'm a sweaty girl this newer material is not 100% sweat proof not to the point of like lulu align pants where you literally like you've pissed yourself or the essential leggings um but just something that i would bear in mind if it's something that bothers you camel toe mm, depends what underwear i get um weirdly when i wear alpha leaks like seamless underwear with amplify i get a worse camel toe and i've come to realize that and it's really annoying because i actually love wearing alpha leaks seamless underwear like you can ask dan like every single time i do a wash there's alpha leak underwear everywhere i'm like i need these washed i need these washed i wear it's pretty much all i wear day to day other than if i'm feeling like 
you should have a bit and then I've normally got a lounge matching set on. But yeah, does anyone else find that? So I actually find like Primax thongs, you know which ones I'm on about ladies? Like £1.50, has it gone up now, inflation? I don't know, but they used to be like £1.50 for three, pack of three, like a G-string thong. Those ones, I don't get a camel toe when I wear those, but when I wear seamless underwear, I do. Does anyone else have that problem? Let me know. <laughs> it confuses me and squat proofness so like i have just said i don't think every single legging in these colors especially colors like mocha and titanium based off you know my first impressions of the shorts the material all that sort of stuff i don't think those leggings are going to be squat proof the shorts if you've got some for reference, I've got dark red underwear on in every single one of these clips. You can't see the underwear when I'm standing up. Um, you can't see anything. They are all stand-up proof. You can't see my underwear when I'm squatting or anything like that. But you can see a bit of my skin at the bottom of a squat in the mocha, the titanium and the evergreen. You can see like a slight amount. The French blue seems to be completely fine. But that's just something I noticed. It's not to the point where I wouldn't wear them. They're completely fine. If you want to wear bigger underwear with colours like titanium and mocha in the shorts. Also in the leggings but... In the shorts in particular, I would be a bit concerned. The pink from last time, just as an FYI, was not stand-up proof. You could see my underwear and it was definitely a little bit more sheer. Um, and if you want a review on the chocolate, I will link that leaf down below. So yes, not 100% squat proof, but definitely not as bad as some colours we've had. So like the, what was it called? Like the, the frozen blue, the frozen spring, that of cheeky coral those were like by far some of the sheerest amplify and the ombre actually that alpha Lee have released these are all like wearable they're completely wearable if anyone's that close to you to see things you should probably say sir move back or stop sitting on the floor behind me and staring at my butt crack so finally to go over the material i am gonna put in a punch through test here so i can show you that these are not the og material they're nothing like scarlet in my experience of what i've got they're nothing of the sort hi guys we're about to do the punch through test let me just collect the goods so i've got my og og amplifier sorry for my hair looks weird from the back by the way i've just realized how fucking atrocious it looks um Right, so I've got my OG OG titanium. 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 Let me not knock any more socks down the back of the radiator. So, OG titanium. This is one of the OG colours, OG material. It's a lot thicker, denser. This is not to replace squat proofness. I've gone over that in this video. This is purely about showing you the thickness of a material. Nothing to do with how... Let me just make sure that the lighting is not brightened on this, actually. Make sure it's 100%. Um, nothing to do with squat proofness. I am not saying this is how sheer they'll be on you. I'm showing the difference between the thickness of the old material and the new material to show you it's nothing like it. It's nothing like Scarlet from the last launch. Well, the Scarlet that I got anyway. This is the OG Titanium. You can see my ruby ring slightly through it, like you can see the outline, but you can't really see much else. It's very thick, dense, a little bit, just less, you know, less tight-like feeling. Automatically, this is like soft, fluffy. Mocha is, in my opinion, let me just make sure I don't do it over the mesh panel because that's not a fair test. Um, mocha is, in my opinion, probably the thinnest colour of this drop. And as you can see, I've got a ruby ring. We've got some knuckles, we've got some nails. And you can actually see that that is indeed a ruby ring. It's more like tights, if that makes sense. We've got the new titanium, which you will see, again, way thinner than the old one. Like, oh, yeah, significantly thinner than the old one. We've got French blue, which in my opinion is a little bit thicker um, than the colours I've just shown you. I don't think the French blue is quite as bad as the ones I've just shown you. I really don't feel like you can see quite as much, in my opinion. And then we've got evergreen, which in theory, being the darkest colour, should show the least. But we can see the big fat ruby ring. That is my punch through test, trademarked Amy Victoria slash Amy Rocks.
But I did actually notice there is a difference between colours in the shorts that I have got. Like I said, any colours that I don't have, I am going to leave my original reviews and stuff linked down below. And hopefully the material isn't too different because they are... The colours that I don't have are more of the newer material. So they were never the OG material anyway. They were only the OG of that colourway, if that makes sense. Like the pink is not an OG colour um, that launched a little bit later on. I feel like this is really quite dark. I'm going to try and turn it up in my experience the mocha and the titanium feel very much the thinnest out of the colors that i've got they're definitely the thinnest titanium is the silkiest softest and thinnest of the bunch this reminds me very very much of my charcoal shorts like it feels pretty much the exact same um which means prone to pilling i will put in some clips of how my storm gray shorts have pilled and they've pilled quite bad on the bum i'm i'll get onto the pilling and stuff in a second but these are like the silkiest thinnest fluffiest not as thin as like chocolate was from the last launch for example but they're basically like charcoal um these are like the the fluffiest of the this batch that i have received mocha is slightly less fluffy but definitely still fluffy definitely still prone to pilling especially down this mesh panel what i have noticed is on the newer colors the mesh panel is definitely a lot more prone to pilling than it was on all on older colors and it's also a lot thinner than it was on the og colors as well um so yeah more similar to titanium so the new thinner material but this one is slightly less fluffy still got a fluffy texture to it but slightly less fluffy then you have got french blue if you've got the previous french blue my french blue shorts feel the exact same way they've maybe got like a slight bit more of a fluffy feeling but it's definitely like a they feel a little more rigid than mocha and titanium do for me um but yeah they still have a little bit more of a fluffiness to them than the original did but they're definitely the closest to the original color out of what i've just shown you like the new titanium feels nothing like the og titanium in my opinion um so yeah french blue and then evergreen definitely feels like the thickest out of the bunch but it's still got that soft fluffy texture to it but it definitely feels like the thickest as you'll have seen with the waistband it's got the smallest waistband and it definitely fits the tightest the other ones i didn't notice a difference between fit on them to be honest um but the evergreen definitely fit a little bit tighter i have all these in an extra small and even with evergreen running a little bit tighter it doesn't run like the frozen spring launch does where i literally felt like or formula red where i literally feel like i'm bursting out of the top of it particularly in the leggings um but if the leggings are running small again uh like they have with the last few launches for the, if the leggings are running smaller i would definitely recommend in the evergreen leggings that you maybe size up because in the formula red leggings for example i would definitely size up because they're just too too tight and the evergreen does run smaller so if the leggings are like that i would size up um I'd definitely be intrigued to see how a small fits in the evergreen shorts to be honest just because it is quite a bit tighter um and you know a little bit thicker but it's still very very stretchy it's not as rigid as the og material this i can't really understand why anyone's saying that this feels like scarlet to be honest because unless the pink does but then i feel like the pink and chocolate and stuff are definitely just not gonna feel like that maybe the black but yeah these these feel nothing like scarlet they're thin even like the evergreen which is the thickest it's definitely a thinner material stretchy fluffy and with that prone to lint like for example watch this i'm just gonna you know meander it up and down the rug see what happens it's attracted oh you can't even see it's attracted quite a lot of lint um because it's got that fluffier texture to it so if lint is something that drives you mad you might need a lint roller for these um i haven't noticed it as bad with any of the other colors as with the evergreen in terms of um picking up lint and all that sort of stuff but it might just be because it's a dark color this is a white rug so it's obviously going to show like dust and stuff a lot more than these colors would so to go over the material 
pilling all that sort of stuff because it is something that i do get asked about i personally do think that all the colors that i have in the bottoms are going to pill now whether that renders a gym product worth it to you or not is completely up to you something for you to decide it depends what kind of training you're doing especially if you're getting the shorts because it's not down your whole legs so if you're doing things where you're you know your bum doesn't come in contact with the ground you'll probably be fine if you're doing things like cardio you'll probably be fine but if you're doing weight training if you're rubbing up against barbells it is something that you're going to want to bear in mind and it's up to you whether you think the price point justifies something that is going to pill for example people are happy to pay 80 to 90 pounds for lululemon aligned pants which pill like i've got a pair of aligned pants they pill they're a very expensive legging but like they pill granted they're not ma made for weight training amplify are meant to be a performance legging for weight training but people wear aligned pants for weight training and they're happy to pay 90 pounds for a pair of leggings which is gonna look like a bobbly mess if you do weight train in them and we all do because I'm going to be completely honest and you'll see because I'll put in a clip of how my storm grey ones have pilled on the bum. Like if you're someone who does a lot of hip thrusts and stuff like that, it's very annoying how much it catches on the bottom, on, on your bum. Like it catches, it pills, it pulls. The mesh panels in particular are quite bad for pilling now. Um, and I understand if you've never had the OG material, you might just take Amplify for what it is but with inflation and stuff i understand the price of amplify has had to go up since they first launched in 2020 i understand that so the price has gone up but the og material did not pill the og material doesn't you know snag as easy as this one does i'm just being honest this material it snags a little bit easier it's a bit thinner it pills easier it's a little bit more delicate some people way prefer this and they're happy with this because they find it comfier because it's a, a little more stretchy a little bit less rigid old amplify in my opinion isn't rigid but it's definitely rigid in comparison to this but other colors like my ivy and my rainfall and my um was it wisteria i don't know if it was wisteria all my original amplifiers have not pilled and i wear them all the time so it's not in the nature of amplifiers because they didn't used to do that um and i do understand that some people prefer the new material some people don't but i get asked a lot like is it is the material worth it in your opinion and it really does depend on what you're down for because like i said people would literally spend 90 pound on a pair of aligned pants which will pill it just kind of depends on what you want but i don't think there is any denying that the newer material compared to the og material doesn't feel um as sturdy as durable or as high quality as it used to i don't think there's any denying that preferences aside whether you prefer something stretchier and softer i don't think it feels anywhere near as durable and ultimately i know amplify looks great and we all look cute in it but I want to go lift some heavy shit i want to train properly i'm not just i'm there to look you but i'm also there to train properly and i would appreciate it if things didn't pill when i'm trying to hip thrust and grow the bunda so that's material chats done with if you've got any questions or anything like that let me know the pink if it is like it was last time will be fluffy and all that sort of stuff i keep trying to go over stuff that i don't have i'll leave it all linked down below so if you want a review of the original pink and all that sort of stuff you can see it below but as you can see obviously it's not all the exact same as it was before so take what i say in those videos with a pinch of salt in a nutshell amplify material is literally if you look up the the, the phrase and i've said this before if it's not broken don't fix it in the dictionary i'm pretty sure amplify would come up under there the amplify material because it wasn't broken and it didn't need to be fixed the 4.5 inch shorts do roll regardless of if you size up i've seen some athletes size up but they still say that they do roll they do roll i prefer the bikers you know it's no secret i wish these colors were coming back in the bikers the bikers are the best amplify item that alpha Elite do i fucking love the bikers to death i need mocha bikers like i need them in my life it's not a want it's a need i need mocha colored bikers um yeah if i could choose between like short shorts and bikers i'd go bikers all the way but i don't have that choice um and the bikers don't roll up the 4.5 inch shorts will roll up if you size up they'll roll a little bit less they'll dig in a little bit less 
um, but if you go true but they will still roll if that makes sense I would say sizing wise with the amplify shorts to stay true to size and if you are between sizes I would always recommend going with the size up rather than sizing down when you size down the scrunch rips and that's how we've ended up with a thick ass scrunch because people were complaining about it ripping thanks for coming to me ted talk and in terms of out of the colors that i've got and the colors i selected to be honest are my favorite colors like i didn't get the pink again because it's a cute color but like i never wear it so why am i gonna have two pairs of pink shorts in different lengths it just did it the math wasn't my thing it just didn't make sense um in terms of my favorite colors from this drop in terms of what i've got for the shorts i'm going to split it into categories in terms of which color i think is the most unique and the prettiest french blue i think french blue is like a you think french blue and you think amplify alpha Lee. like no other gym brand in my opinion i've never seen another gym piece in this specific color it's a very specific color and i've never seen anyone else do it um so this is definitely the most like unique to alpha Lee and prettiest color in this restock in my opinion however my like top 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 recommendation color wise is mocha because this will sell like hot cakes it always does it's not been restocked in a while but this is way nicer than chocolate in my opinion it's a really really good brown and even though this is a bit different to the original mocha i love it just as much i just think this is such a nice brown I really really like it i'd love to see like a medium rich chocolate brown like a dairy milk brown from alpha Lee. but in the meantime if you had to say mocha or chocolate i would definitely go for mocha anyone who likes the way i say mocha because apparently some people do mocha 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 is this an american thing because i was watching christian's video the other day and he was like mocha mocha it's my favorite color and my mocha leggings, because I never had the shorts and I regret not getting the shorts, my mocha leggings are my most worn amplify colour leggings, I think. I think they're my, probably my, worst, my most worn. So yeah, mocha would be my absolute top recommendation. And I really, really, really do like the titanium colour. It's not like the old titanium, so I never find myself reaching for my old titanium personally. Like, it lives under the bed. It's not in my easy reach draw because colors like thundercloud medium gray storm gray are my preferred grays i prefer a bit of a lighter gray and something about this gray just gives me like school jumper vibes and i've never really worn it that much it's just a bit too school jumperish for me whereas the new titanium i feel like it's almost got like a blue undertone to it and i actually really like this color so if you're wanting like a color that's going to go with absolutely anything from this drop i would say to get the titanium um but yeah my absolute favorite if you're only going to get one colorway would be to get mocha i just think stunning absolutely stunning so to go over the amplify short sleeve crop tops i have got chocolate I've got mocha and I've got French blue. So I'll put in a video where I lay these over the long sleeves because short sleeves haven't released in a while. I do have some of the old ones, but they're back in Bradford. So if you follow me on Instagram, I will put some pictures up on there of old to new if you do have one of the old short sleeves so that you can see comparison for sizing i've got these in an extra small i would show you the tops laying on top of each other so french blue is the biggest these are all an extra small but french blue is definitely the biggest only by a tiny amount though and i didn't really notice it when it was on not gonna lie so this is like my mocha amplify long sleeve top as you can see like the old mocha top is like a solid brown whereas this one's more like um mild especially on the sleeves like i feel like the sleeves are more mild than the body anyway fit wise it's pretty much the same the short sleeve definitely runs a bit bigger so as you can see it lies bigger over the sides here is definitely more room and it's also a bit longer how much long how much is it longer by it's longer by that much so you get a little bit extra length and i did actually notice when i put these on because sometimes when i wear the long sleeves i love wearing them but like this they fall at an awkward point when i'm wearing my amplify leggings i actually wear them more with things like joggers um because it's just they fall at a really weird point and it's just a weird part of my stomach that's out and i did notice having these on with the shorts it's 
definitely more flattering having that little bit of extra length it feels like there's a bit less of your stomach on show so something to bear in mind if you don't like the shortness of these the short sleeves are a little bit longer details wise material it's very much the same as the long sleeves what i will say is all of these feel a little bit less fluffy than recent long sleeve um amplifiers which i've had issues with you wouldn't have issues with these anyway because the short sleeves so you can't roll them over but i like a cozy sleeve we know she loves a cozy sleeve and if i go like that and then grab the bar which some would argue you shouldn't do that anyway but never used to have that issue with my old amplifying tops the bar like snags the material and it pills because it's that fluffy one um you wouldn't be doing that in these because they're short sleeve but the french blue and mocha definitely feel a little bit less fluffy whereas the chocolate definitely feels like the long sleeve tops if you've got like the ombre ones if you've got the formula red one it feels the exact same as that so like thin breathable um and a little bit more fluffiness to it and it's a bit stretchier whereas the french blue and the mocha they're definitely still stretchy they're still comfortable still thin breathable soft all that stuff but they're definitely a bit more stiff and they're not quite as fluffy in texture so there's no forever stitching for the branding on this it is like this you'll see that my tits kind of stretch that bitch out so it's like out fairly um it's not meant to look like that i think if i sized up to a small it would probably fix that issue but um then it would probably be a little bit loose at the bottom. I could definitely wear an extra small or a small in these. Generally, I would stay to stay true to size, but if you have a bigger chest and you don't want that thing to happen, you can definitely go up a size because I feel like there's not, there's barely ever much in it sizing wise between tops. In my experience, you can go either way, but generally speaking, if you don't have like enormous chebs or anything like that you can stay true to size in the tops and you will be fine you've got alpha lee in a sticker on the front you have got short sleeves you've got this band at the bottom someone on instagram was asking me about this and said is it like rigid or restrictive no it's like a ribbed elastic band at the bottom so it's like that and then at the back just as with the long sleeves you've got this kind of ribbed paneling and shaping um one thing that i did notice is these all fit a little bit differently first of all if you are a slick pony gal you need to make sure that you put your hair on put your hair on do your hair when you have done putting this on because otherwise your hair's going to get absolutely fucked i never remember the necks on these being this tight but they are tight i don't have a too big a head it's a little bit on the big side but it's not too big um and I do actually struggle to get these over my head. It's a little bit tight. So that is something to be aware of. The neck on these definitely feels tight and it doesn't have as much stretch as it used to, in my opinion. And it's definitely not as stretchy as the long sleeves. Um, and the other thing to be aware of is the bottom. So like I've said, it's like an elasticated thing. So on the chocolate, it's like cinched. And on the French blue on me, it's like cinched as well. So it goes like tight to my body tight to you know under tight to my rib cage sort of thing but in the mocha it feels like it's not cinched can you see what i mean like the rest of the tops kind of go like that and then the the things at the bottom the elastic band whereas this one's just like not cinched at all and it sits a bit weird i don't know if i've maybe got a defected one but i did think that was worth mentioning because it might be a colorway thing um in which case i wouldn't size down in this because i don't think i'd actually be comfortable in a double extra small in this it's just a bit disappointing that the bottom of the fit on the mocker on me is just a bit weird like it doesn't like hang off or gape or anything it just doesn't fit right or as well as the other two in terms of like what you'd wear under these both the mocha and the chocolate i found to be a little bit sheer on me so i would personally not recommend going braless in these because i do think you would actually be able to see your tit through it the french blue i could definitely go get away with going braless with um but it wouldn't be enough support they're not like a high support top like i said they're super super thin super breathable so you would want to wear a sports bra under these things like the tri bar the tri bras the tri bras and the revival bras would be what i recommend you put under this i love the amplify bras however the, the straps and stuff are quite chunky quite thick the seams are quite thick on them which means they just like stand out a bit too much under like the amplify tops because they're a bit thinner 
and I just think it looks bad to be honest so I would personally recommend that if you're going to the gym in these you wear a revival bra or a tri bra underneath and if you're just chilling wear something like what I've got on now so I've got a skims fendi bralette on skims bralette some my favorite um could go braless if you wanted especially if you've got smaller boobs it probably won't stretch it as much but yeah sweat proof wise these are not sweat proof they will show sweat if you are conscious about showing sweat go for colors like evergreen and chocolate because you're not going to see that i was meant to get the evergreen top but it's not coming yet dylan said i will be getting it we love dylan most helpful person working at alpha Lee. shout out to dylan in every single video i just he's just the best you know um he did message me saying that he's not got it in yet so he can't send it to me but he didn't want my parcel to come late so he sent everything out without it. I think I will be getting it at some point and if I do get it before the launch I'll put it on my Instagram at Amy Rooks. Follow me on there, I'll save things to a highlight. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend going for like the black, uh, is this coming in black? The black, the evergreen or the chocolate if you're conscious of sweat. All the other colours, you're going to see a little bit of sweat. You're going to see a little bit of sweat. Overall, do I recommend these tops? I do recommend these tops. And I think for summer in particular, these are so much better than the long sleeves. I don't know why they keep giving us long sleeves in summer, but I'm happy that they've done the short sleeve because I've missed these. I think they're really, really cute. And if I was getting any of these personally, I would get the chocolate because it goes with mocha. So you can wear the two together. I just wouldn't recommend the mocha based off my experience with the bottom, but I might just have a faulty one. Um, but the chocolate is definitely gonna be my most worn because it's just like dark, but like a bit different than wearing black. Um, so I think this is probably gonna be one of my most worn tops out of the bunch. I would definitely recommend the chocolate. So yes, if you are shopping in the restock, I would recommend you get the shorts or the leggings in the mocha colour or both. Honestly, I promise you, you are going to wear the shit out of that colour. And I've seen really, really beautiful dark skinned women wearing mocha and it looks amazing on them. It doesn't wash them out. I've seen, to be honest, I've seen most skin tones in Facebook groups, on Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Um, wearing mocha and it seems to look good on everyone from what I have seen that would be my recommendation recommendation for the shorts and the leggings um, and my recommendation for the tops would be to get chocolate or black black is a staple um, I'm not going to re recommend the black amplifier leggings or shorts just because I haven't tried them and I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're just going to be super super sheer because weirdly with Alpha Lee recently the darker the colour <laughs> the share of the product and I know that the black from last time was very sheer from what I've seen from other people and from messages that I have received. Like I said I'm going to leave down below my reviews of all these colours so in leggings and shorts with timestamps so you can go back and see what the colours look like. As you'll have seen with the colour comparisons I've done in this video the colour may vary slightly but not too much and from what I've seen with like the pink and stuff on other people it looks pretty much the exact same material wise i can't speak to those products because i have not tried them um leggings wise like i said do be aware that on recent drops leggings have tended to run a little bit tighter and they have also had more issues with being like more sheer just logically because you've got more of your leg to pull it over um evergreen runs tightest out of all the colors that i have tried and stock wise because this is something that i have been asked about a lot I would definitely recommend being on the site at launch time, especially if you were in the UK. I was really, really, really upset and felt so bad when the Pia Blue Storm Grey launch was the other week because it appeared that the US website, which I understand Alpha Lee, it's an American brand. They probably have a bigger fan customer base in the US. It certainly looks that way from things that I've seen from, you know, the support that I get, all that sort of stuff. However, there was clearly like a huge discrepancy between stocks between the eu the uk website which uh, supplies the whole of the eu and the us website and the bikers and stuff and shorts and all that sort of stuff went so quick sorry my battery died there was clearly a huge discrepancy between the stock on the us site and the uk website which like i've just said i kind of understand the logistics but there was nowhere near enough stock on the eu especially in the bikers i know they're not doing bikers this time but shorts always tend to go quicker um, and Alpha Leap do know that, they are aware of that, and there just wasn't enough stock, like the bike has literally went within like a few minutes. Now I know that Alpha Leap are increasing their 
stock and they're trying their best to keep up with demand but i'm not going to sit here and say there's going to be plenty of stock guys go on the website an hour after it's launched and you'll be able to get what you want because i just don't know no one knows no one knows it seems like every single time they've kept up with the demand supply thing it just like completely there's even more demand for the product so i would recommend if there's something you really really want that you are on the website at 6 p.m uk time on the 11th to get what you want i know it's annoying i know it's stressful but they are definitely getting better there was definitely a lot more stock this time compared to last time but it appeared to have gone more on leggings than on shorts um, like the leggings were in stock for quite a while in a lot of the colourways after the launch but the shorts went quite quick um, so yeah especially if you're wanting shorts I would definitely recommend being on the site on time and if you're wanting mocha mocha is one of like the most popular colours from Alphalete it's one of my favourite colours from Alphalete so if you're wanting that colour I would recommend that you are on the site at the time um, I know it feels like a lot of Alphalete launches very close together but I believe what they're trying to do is have more consistent stock on the website so that they're not you know constantly having you know big 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 launches all the time and I understand that so I feel like they're doing a lot of launches close together to really like get their inventory up their aim isn't to sell out within minutes of every single launch that they're doing when they're doing them so close together i think they're trying to get their inventory up and then they're gonna be able to space their launches out a bit more once they've got enough inventory on the website if that makes sense um but there's no pressure to buy i feel like colors like mocha will be like a staple for alpha Lee. um mocha and french blue in particular i feel like they're going to be a staple for alpha Lee. black will always come back like the color black is always going to come back in amplify so if you don't have the funds to shop right now don't stress don't worry about it you will have another chance i'm sure to get your hands on these products i don't want anyone feeling like they've just spent all their money on the launch a few weeks ago and now there's this one if you can't afford it sit it out those klana bills those afterpay bills the stress the interest rate if you don't pay off on time not worth it for activewear it's never that deep um but yeah, like I said, if you are shopping, mocha, leggings and shorts would be my absolute top recommendation and get yourself a chocolate top because I personally love a bit of like tonal matching, Ma like 100% matching I'm not always a huge fan of because I think it looks a bit too, whoa, whereas if you do like a couple shades off, I feel like it looks quite cool. Um, but yes, any questions, anything I've not gone over in the video, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to every single one of you. Sizing help, leave it down below and I will get back to you. Anything you want to message me on Instagram, message me and I will get back to you. Sizing help on there. I'll be doing more posts on my Instagram story of like comparisons and stuff that I might have missed in this video on there. Saving it to a highlight, super active anything you want to see from this launch paired with something from my last launch to see if it'll go together message me on instagram i'll go through my stash see if i've got what you want and i'll pair it together send you some pictures give you some outfit inspo i'm here for all your needs um yes su support uh launch is saturday the 11th of june 6 p.m uk time and support code amy to get you 10 percent off and wish you girl a happy birthday um, let me know if you use it so I can say a big fat thank you. I always get back to every single message. Have a fab week, guys. I'm going to end this video here and try to edit it and get it up for this evening.